in example number five, you are given a parabolic function. Okay. Now, is it a function? I said it's a parabolic function. Is it a function? Yeah. A parabola. Is it a function? <laughs> a parabola. Is it a function? <laughs> Stephanie, but I just said. I said, is a parabolic function a function? <laughs> is a parabolic function a function? We've we've been doing parabola since last year, and then we were calling it a function. So it is a function. And then they say, what type of a function is it? It's a many to one again. Because we do have many x values, many to one. So those are the questions that we need to expect. You know? And then they say, is the inverse of a function, uh, is the inverse of, a, of f a function? Give reason for your answer. Now let's talk about it. Let's think about it. Kind of what happens to an inverse? What is x becomes y again? What is y becomes what? X. So it means in the statement here, what's going to happen is that you're going to have something like this. Instead of having many to one, which is the function, okay? when now what you're going to have, mind you, is one to many. Now, is one to many a function? This one, it's not a function. So no, the inverse is not. Yeah? And then when they say, give a reason for your answer, it's because a one to many is not a function. Yes. So X values are not unique, if you want to put it in English. I will still find it. Okay, here's another question that they like. Determine the inverse of F. So how do we determine an inverse? Let's remind ourselves. We spoke about an inverse is us reflecting it by the line Y is equal to X, okay? So if reflected by the line Y is equal to X, here's what's going to happen first. Whatever is X is going to become what? So look at what is going to happen. Then you're going to have X, which is going to be equal to two Y squared. Now, your equation cannot have x as an equation, starting with x. You need to make sure what you make y the subject of the formula. How do you make y the subject of the formula? You divide by 2. Okay? You divide by 2. Yeah? And then what are you remaining with, much? You are remaining with x all over 2, which is going to be equal to y term by squared. I don't want y squared. I want y. I know because Nazi log, but you have to log. You can't log. You want to remove squared. How do you remove squared? Mm -hmm. You square root, okay? You square root. But the square root is in a plus and a what and a minus. Therefore, what is going to be our equation? Our equation is going to say y is going to be plus and a minus. And then it says with x all over mm -hmm. two. And then you'll get one, two. I was still together. Sketch. They say, Shkuti, you should sketch the graph of F and its inverse and the line Y is equal to X on the same set of axes. Huh? So how are we going to draw this one? We are going to use a table. So till now we know how to use the table from our calculator. Okay? So we'll go to our calculator and say, Shkuti, we have mode. And then we go to table. Where is table? Here? Number seven, according to mine. And then you're going to write this thing exactly the way it is. It says f of x. So you have f of x, which is 2 alpha x squared. Eh? What did I do? Alpha squared, like this. Eh? Equals 2. And then you ask us, where do you want to start? You can start anywhere. Eh? So I'll start with minus 2. Equals 2. Where am I going to end? I'm going to end with 2. Step, I'm going to leave it as what? They say which when x is minus uh, is minus two, I have eight. Let me go and check my graph paper if it has eight. If it has eight, I'll do it. If it doesn't have eight, it's not the end of the world. I will move on to the next one. Who's the next person? So minus one. Minus one goes with what? Minus one goes with two. Okay. And then you have zero. Zero goes with what? It goes with zero. And then you have one. One goes with it goes with two. And then two goes with what? Eight. Eight should be somewhere on top then. Okay, now our graph is going to look something like this then. And then this is going to be f of x. This one is f of x. I will still find that. Now what I'm going to do then, Mashita, after this, if they say draw an inverse, you come here. Personally, I prefer to write it because my man cannot take it if I just change the values. So I take these values and then put them on a the table. I say, okay, now whatever is x is going to become y. 
whatever is x is going to become y. So what did we have? So we have x, we have y. So let's go with original. What did we start with original? It was minus one, it goes with what with two. And then you had what? Zero and zero. And then you had one and two. Yeah, after that, this is what you're going to do then. I do it exactly the same way. I say x and then I say y. And then I say two, and then I say zero, and then I say what two. And I said minus one, I say zero, and then I say what one. Now I'm going to use this other table then, the next one. So what do we have? We have two. Ne? X is two. Ne? What is your wife? Minus one. Here it is. I have zero, which goes with what with? I have two. Okay. It goes with what? With what? Like this. Mm -hmm. And then from there onwards, you connect. You connect your dots. Yes. Huh? Like, are you fitting Drawn to scale will subject to interpretation. But if you've drawn it to scale, probably you'll get that. Right? So yeah, they're going to draw the line y is equal to x. Yes, the line y is equal to x. And then for you to be able to do something like this, they will give you one, two, three, four. So all in all, you'll get four marks. Now, let's go to the last question then, number E. Determine the domain and the range of F and its inverse. Now, Gasetana here, yeah. you just have to determine the domain and the range of F and then interchange them. Now, let's go ahead and start with the domain of this one here. We are going to use a vertical line. If you use a vertical line, if you are going to be using a vertical line, let's look at this here. You take this line and then you shift it. Yeah? If you shift this line, What's happening with my line? Does it not to be shifted? Yeah, if you shift this line here, yeah, let's look at the black color. What is the first thing that you charge on the black color? Then? It's negative infinity. You know? And then the graph is not breaking, the graph is not breaking, the graph is not breaking. What is the last thing that we touch? Positive infinity. So what are we going to say to them? We're going to say X is an element of all real numbers, okay? So we'll say which x is an element of all the what the, the real numbers. And then we're going to use, now, we're going to use a horizontal line to get the range. On your range, you start from the smallest to the biggest, okay? Concentrate on the black one. What is the first thing that you touch on the black one? You touch zero. Right? And then what is the last thing that we touched? <laughs> So you can write it this way. You can say y should be greater than zero. So you can say y is going to be greater or equals to what to zero. Because this graph is touching, is touching this thing here. So it's going to be y is greater or equals to what to zero. So this one is for f. Now let's talk about the inverse then. They didn't, yeah. So if we talk about the inverse, what is going to be the domain and the range? You come here, Mashit, whatever is x here. You come and put y. So you're going to have y is an element of what of all the real numbers. I agree, x on the function was x is an element of all the real numbers. Huh? When you go to the inverse, whatever is x is going to become what? Y. And then here, yeah, this one here, there was y again. What are you going to have first? X is going to be greater or equals to what to see. And then we can try activity number six.